Welcome back guys. If you want to build something like this, if we step back a little bit, you will see an easy rig with the easily mount your GoPro or your film camera that you have, including a lightning system with LEDs that easily brightens the image or the video that you're shooting. Then I should recommend to watch this video. The cost of this setup is very, very minimal compared to a professional setup, but it works really, really great. Do a great work lightening it up. As you can see here, it does a lot for the actual image. And with one more light, you get even better system like this. So stay tuned. I start with the arms. They are regular arms for mounting lights and other things on tables. But they work really well for mounting gear like cameras and lights as well. To mount the gear itself I need some hardware between the actual arms and the camera stand. So I picked out a piece of steel bar that I had and I'm marking out where to cut and where to drill. The angle grinder makes a quick task of cutting the steel in pieces to what I need. I'm also making sure to round off all the edges on the piece before I actually cut them off totally. The sharp drill makes quick action of getting the hole down. A normal screw is used to actually attach the device and I'm welding this in place. Quick clean up of course before I will be adding some paint to it. And I noticed rather quickly that the paint I took was not black, it was green. But that doesn't really matter. It's now time for lightning. I'm using scavenged LED lights from my old stairs. Um, the ones that I have here are white LEDs and they aren't that bright nor are they that um, tight together but they will work. Uh, I did fetch a uh, aluminium plate that I found and that's what I'm going to mount everything on. It's light and it also dissipates eventual heat that could potentially build up though those lights aren't that uh, heavy in that sense. Marking the middle point where I'm going to more, um, have the holder itself and drilling the hole. I'm also going to mark where the nut is going to be, because there I'm not able to mount any LEDs. I'm adding some extra double sided tape, uh, because the double sided tape that are left on LEDs are useless now. So I'm just adding a rather thick layer of that part, um, and that will easily work with the LED lights. Um, due to the lack of heat from them, this will not come loose any time soon. Cutting the lead strips into desirable length, and this is no, I mean, I mean, you can have any length that you want. Uh, I choose the one that fits the best over this width of the plate. Uh, and I'm crudely attaching them to it, uh, nothing fancy here. Uh, I will never be looking to it, so I don't really care how it looks on this side.
pre-soldering the ends because here is all the wires going to be attached and I'm basically using uh, Ethernet wire uh, picked from a uh, normal Cat5 cable that I found and they will work really good for this scenario it's not that much current per strip so the, the thickness of itself is not the problem making sure that I get the positive and negative to the correct ends I'm now twinning them together and making sure that they fit and you can see that I'm using a quick connect for this purpose. Adding the last couple of lead strips as well and making sure that the ends are nice and tidy. And of course soldering the last ones. It's now time to test them out. I use my trusted bench power supply, around 12 volt. And here you can see me dimming them up and down. Around 1.9 ampere to uh, fulfill this all. So I need a PSU that can suit that or work with that. But before that's done, I attached a wiring on the back side. I did fetch a PSU. I found one that could give me two amps. And this one is what I'm going to use. I found a box to house everything in. I need a button to uh, turn it on and off and to show the states of if they are running. Measuring the switch to make sure that I know how big hole I'm going to drill. Using a step drill to do this, make a quick work of it. Then it's just a matter of popping it into place. There you go. The switch I choose was with built-in LED for 12 volts, so it fits perfectly for this scenario. I'm also attaching a 2.1 millimeter plug uh, that works directly towards the PSU that I choose on. Cleaning out the burrs so it fits nice and dandy. And then it's just a matter of screwing it into place. I now open up a hole where the two wires comes in. And making sure that I know the polarity of the switch itself. Pre-thinning. And then soldering the wire into place. You can of course add the other wires as well into the housing, but I skipped that in this, uh, this build here. And as you can see, the switch turns the light on and everything seems to work, so it's time to close this up. To get this closed up, we have a little bit of work to do because there are some wires in the behind that we need to move first. Closing the box, then it's time to do a little bit of sanding and we add more double-sided tape. The red one is a lot more tighter and harder than the green one. So I'm using this on the back side here because I don't want those parts to get loose at all. Now it's time to cut down the black wire so the lengths itself are a good tight fit. And it now looks okay. Attaching the side and I could see that it instantly work. It's time to mount it onto the arm and I do that by a washer in between and then it's just a matter of attaching the screw that I had earlier and tightening it. It's now time to test out but before we mount it on the normal stand. Attaching the PSU and thrust it on. And as you can see, it does a great job lightening things up. 
Now it's just a matter of positioning it correctly and setting the white balance on the camera so this will work out. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. It was a great fun to build this. It didn't take a long time at all to do it and you can do it with simple tools that you have at home. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a big thumbs up if you like the video. And hopefully I will see you soon again in the next video. Thank you and bye.